Find the term independent of x in the expansion of 2x squared minus 4 over x to the power of 9. So the general term of a binomial expansion a plus b to the n is u to the r plus 1 n c r a to the n minus r b to the r. For 2x squared minus 4 over x to the 9 this a will be equivalent to 2x squared, comparing it with this. b will be equivalent to minus 4 over x plus b. And n will be 9. So now putting this information into this formula, we get the general term is equal to 9cr, and r is what we need to find, a 2x squared to the power of n 9 minus r, in brackets, minus 4 over x to the power of R. Right, we're going to separate all the numbers up now, so we're going to have 9CR, 2 to the 9 minus R, and minus 4 to the R. And now we're going to have X to the 2 9 minus R, and then 1 over X becomes X to the minus R using our rules of indices. Right, we're going to combine these two here now, so the first bit will be the same. If we combine these two, there will be 9, uh, sorry, 2 no, 2 times 9, which is 18 minus 2r minus r, so it becomes 18 minus 2r minus r, and that will become the same, but this will be the same, this will become x to the power of 18 minus 3r. And for a term to be independent of x, we need this to be x to the 0, because x to the 0 gives me 1, therefore we have a term independent of x, a constant term, is another terminology you use. So if we put for the term independent of x, 18 minus 3r is equal to 0. That means that 18 must be equal to 3r, r must be equal to 6. Now substitute that back into here. The required term will be u to the 6 plus 1, 9c6, 2 to the 9 minus 6, minus 4 to the power of 6. That becomes 9c6, 2 cubed, min, uh, 4, now it's 4 because minus to a, an even power disappears, so it's 4 to the 6. Notice the two powers, 3 plus 6, add up to the total net power, which is 9. Then working that on my calculator, I'm going to get 2,007,052,512.